I've taken a lot of golf trips over the past 20 years, and in addition to having a really great time, I've learned a lot about packing. The first point is that you don't need to take a lot of stuff. I've gone on one week and two week golf trips where all I carried was a carry-on bag. Oh, and my golf clubs. This is my favorite suitcase I've ever had. It's made by a company called eBags, which was started by five guys from Samsonite. Uh, it easily fits in an overhead compartment and it has lots of features that are perfect for golf. The key to fitting everything in a small suitcase is not to take too much. If you're wearing golf pants, you only need one other pair of pants, one spare. The best pants are made of plastic. This is uh, microfiber polyester. You can sit on a Snickers bar and clean it with a wet washcloth in your hotel room uh, and it doesn't get wrinkled. And you're going to buy a ridiculous number of souvenir golf shirts so you don't need to take a lot of others. You're wearing one, take another. If you're just traveling with guys, it doesn't matter what it smells like by the end of the trip. Don't take any shoes that you can't also wear as golf shoes. These are senior citizen ball walker shoes. Even better, take golf shoes that you can wear inside. Then you don't need to take any other shoes at all. eBags makes cool things called packing cubes. You can use them to help you organize your suitcase by like putting all your socks in one of them. There's an art to packing a golf hat. You tuck the bill under the strap like that, and then you can put it in the bag flat. Nalgene makes these cool little bottles that you can pack your liquids and gels in. One uh, word of warning, never put mouthwash in a bottle that you've also put shampoo in. Now I've got everything I need for the whole week and I can fit it all in the overhead compartment. Everything I need. Golf clubs. <laughs>